let's just get into this one. Um, I'm not going to waste any time and just say that that was an awful performance um, by your defending NFC champion 49ers. Um, offensively, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was at his worst today. Um, he missed a lot of layup throws uh, that could have made a difference in this game. Um, his inaccuracy may have cost George Kittle with an injury. We don't know the severity of it at the moment, but that was just that he looked inaccurate all day. He looked flustered. He had happy feet. Um, this was bad Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, you got to expect more out of him at this point. I mean, he's been the quarterback. This is his third season with them. Um, I realized that the off season was shortened and that there wasn't a lot of time to <clears throat> work on things. But the fact of the matter is this performance was just inexcusable. It was, uh, you know, a lot of people want to make excuses that he was without his top two wide receivers, but a lot of quarterbacks are without their top guys and they, they find a way to make things happen. Um, they barely threw to wide receivers in this game at all. Um, mostly to their backs and tight ends. Um, but once Kittle got dinged, he never really was a factor in this game at all. Um, the running game was pretty efficient at times, but when they put the ball in Jimmy Garoppolo's hands to win it, uh, when it mattered most, he came up short. Um, at the end, that's just inexcusable. You got to throw that out out route uh, with better timing. Uh, Trent Taylor would have caught it. Um, you really see the 49ers lack of size at wide receiver when they go for, you know, like jump balls and stuff, stuff like that. I, I really realize that they just don't have any size. They have a lot of similar smaller frame guys that are quick in short areas, but um, that's definitely something that I noticed. Uh, you know, they went into this off season saying they needed to address the wide receiver situation. And, uh, you yeah, know, they were depending on guys to come back from injury or, you know, drafting somebody, but, they look worse now than they did before. Now, again, they're missing two guys. I understand that. But the fact of the matter is your NFL wide receivers, you got to find a way to get open, and you got to find a way to make catches at big big moments in the game, and uh, they didn't do that. Um, defensively, I thought the 49ers played on their heels. I, um, <clears throat> You know, there was all this talk before the game about they had adjusted – to playing guys like Kyler Murray and um, Lamar Jackson and that they, you know, they were finding different ways to figure out a way to stop them. Um, this was the talk from Bosa during the week. Um, you watch that game, you didn't see any of that. Um, I thought the 49ers, uh, they took such bad angles. Uh, their tackling was atrocious. I mean, he was just gouging them left and right. Um, and I think that opened up the passing game. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins absolutely yeah, he destroyed anybody who was covering him it didn't matter if it was Sherman uh, Mosley was getting eight and alive out there uh, part, of, part of that is the lack of pass rush they just did not get home at all um, I feel like the punt block was definitely a momentum shifter that the Niners really never re- recovered from I thought the Niners were on their way um to sustaining momentum even though they were punting the ball away and that block tipped that game on its head um not a lot to say as far as statistics i'm not going to go into them because i at this point really don't care the fact of the matter is the niners should have played better um i expect more out of them but uh when you play the way they did today um you deserve to lose uh the the cardinals were the better team Cardinals look more hungry. They look more prepared. Um, 49ers just, um, you know, they got to go back to their drawing board. They're playing the Jets this coming week, uh, a game they should win against a pretty bad quarterback in uh, in the Jets. And uh, I just feel like uh, if you're going to right the ship, you got to right it right now. Um, you can't let this thing snowball into one, two, three games. Um, nip it in the bud. Make your corrections. Uh you know they're playing a quarterback next this week that is immobile so that should help them a little bit Uh, but they got to get better on the back end and they got to get better in the passing game Jimmy Garoppolo has to play better I expect more out of him um, and quite frankly he was one of the main reasons that they lost this game he's got to make cleaner throws Um, he's got to make 
more accurate throws. He can't lead guys into disaster like he was doing today. Um, uh, if you look at the statistics early on, you would have thought he was having a great game, but a lot of that came on that one play to Mostert. Um, he played pretty good overall. Um, wide receivers, like I said, non-existent. Not much to say about them. Hopefully when we get Debo and Ayuk back and everybody slides in their respective roles, maybe we'll see a better pass game. But uh, the Niners have a lot to work on. Uh, they should be ashamed of the performance that they put out there today. Um, they need to come back strong next week and take it out on the Jets. Um, and hopefully if they do that, uh, we'll be one and one and we'll be in a lot better mood. But right now, as of right now, I am I am not a happy camper I expect more out of Jimmy. I expect more out of this defense. And the fact of the matter is um, they have a lot of season to fix things, so hopefully they'll do that. But as of right now, um, they have a lot to work on. And uh, hopefully it's, you know, thankfully it's early in the season and we have a lot of time and uh, we have time to write this, write the ship, and uh, hopefully we can do that. So, yeah, I'm pretty monotone, pretty upset. Um, if anything happens during the week that needs to break, I'll let you guys know. Uh, until then, I'll talk to you later. See ya.